So this week's video ran a little long. So to skip to tips for packing your luggage, click the button. Hey guys, so this week on DG Skating, we're gonna look at packing for competitions. Um, first off, we're gonna look at packing uh, your carry-on. So as far as carry-ons go, uh, you need to consider how long you're gonna be traveling for and whether or not it's domestic or international. Um, because there's variants on what you can and cannot take on. But for me, these are my essentials. Uh, first off, what we have is uh, my computer and iPad. I like to keep an option open on whether I'm doing homework, playing video games, or uh, you know, watching movies or whatnot. Um, next on the list, we have my iPhone and my iPod. Um, both more on terms of music. And to listen to that music, uh, I like to keep two options of headphones on. Earbuds more for you know taxiing and stuff for the in-flight service, but once we get in the air, it's nice to have these uh, noise-canceling headphones so that you know you don't hear that annoying humming once you're in the air and you can listen to your music. Some uh, pens and pencils here uh, and a pad of paper. I like to doodle and write things down, and uh, it's also important when you have to fill out those custom forms, um, so you don't want to be asking around for pens or pencils people that you may or may not know. Uh, next on the list here is uh, just some housekeeping stuff. Uh, Advil, um, some melatonin for those long flights you need to sleep, uh, some chapstick for the dry plain air so you don't crack those lips, um, some gum, and something some people will want to have to avoid those air that airplane food is uh, one or two of your favorite snacks. Always good to have as well. So believe it or not, uh, traveling can take a lot out of uh, a lot out of you. So it's important to try to keep your fresh, uh, keep yourself fresh on the plane or bus or whatever. So uh, something that I like to keep in my bag is uh, some compression tights. So going to the plane, I'll keep them in my bag. But once uh, it's 10 or 15 minutes before boarding, good to have these and put them on so uh, you can keep those legs nice and fresh. Some of the most important things you need: passport and wallet. Um, pretty much speak for itself. You don't want to forget these things or lose them, especially when you're in China. So it's important to take keys of your skating stuff on you uh, because, you know, as we all know, bags can get lost. So what I like to keep on me is stuff that is hard to replace. So for me, that's my speed skating boots and, you know, a skin suit. And even though you, it's easy to replace, it's kind of annoying, so I like to keep my glasses on me. So when it comes to uh, packing your blades and your boots for traveling, uh, we like to suggest that you always take your boots on the plane with you. Uh, it's one less thing that uh, if your luggage gets lost that you need to replace. Uh, kind of hard to replace custom boots right before your competition. So uh, some of you may not know that if you are flying domestic within Canada, you can bring your boots and blades on the plane with you. So that's it's kind of cool that they've changed the security measures there. It's one less thing you have to worry about. Uh, so blades though, when you're packing your blades, if you're flying international or I suppose anywhere else in the world, uh, we like to uh, leave the mechs on the boots. Um, you can mark your blades, they should be marked as to where your offset is, but um, it's very uh, precise as to where your offset is. So we like to just leave the mech on so your offset is not going to change. And for long tracks, when you're popping your blades off, uh, you, all you have to do is pop off both springs there. Okay, easy way to pop off your springs, put your lace through there, okay, grab a hold and pull, off comes the spring, okay, and you have both your springs, you want to make sure you keep those in probably a Ziploc bag for when you're traveling, make sure you, you don't lose them because they're also important. To get the rest of the blade off, you need this tool here, and you put it in through the axle, and unscrew. Now when you get the axle off here, I like to make sure I put the axle right back in the blade so you know where it is. One less thing you have to lose. You could put it in the Ziploc bag with your springs if you want, whatever you like. Okay, so I've got the axle put right back in the blade just so I don't lose it. I know where everything is. And then when we go to packing our blades, We'll have both blades. Blades. Uh, some people have boxes. You can get uh, plastic tubing 
uh, from Home Depot or something like that, like a hard case to keep your blades. Uh, those also add up in weight. I think uh, for the most part, depending on your luggage, just wrapping them in a towel will suffice. So you get a nice thick towel, wrap it, place your other blade in, finish wrapping it, and make sure you stuff it somewhere in the middle of your luggage so it doesn't get uh, smushed too much. Now when it comes to short tracks, uh, same idea, you can pop off your uh, the whole blade and the cups if you want. It is easier obviously with two bolts there. Um, but again, your offset is really precise and sometimes you're not going to get it then put back on exactly where it was before. So we like to just pop off all these small ones right here. Okay, take your Allen keys and your wrench, pop those off, and then off comes the blade. And again, I like to put the bolts right back through the blade holes so you know exactly where they are. And then uh, same goes, wrap it in the towel and uh, they should be protected that way. So equally as important as packing your blades is packing your jig and stones. When you're putting them in your luggage, you wanna make sure your jig and your stones are not right beside your blades. Uh, you don't want heavy things like that bumping up against them. And when you're taking your jig apart, it's very important to make sure that you have everything marked before you take it apart. So as you can see here, we have two marks to make sure where this edge is, this end of the jig, and coming down this end, two marks again. And with this jig, he has two bars in the middle. So you want to make sure you have your bars labeled either left or right, as well as the end pieces. The end pieces can go on either way, so you want to make sure that you have it labeled so you're putting it on the same way every time. If you set your jig up a little bit differently, you may not get a, a square edge the first few times you sharpen because it may be off a little bit. Um, so that's really important. And just a little insider tip, when you do arrive to your competition and you're setting your jig up, try to find a piece of glass to set your jig up, something that's perfectly flat, and then you can set it up and tighten it, and then that way you know your jig will be nice and square. And one final note, it's always good to have your own tools for your blades. Uh, I have this tool here, the Allen key, to take off my blade. I also have the other Allen key to take off the, uh, the bolts for the mechs. And for short tracks, it's good to have the wrenches that you need. Uh, you never know when you're going to need it, so especially for traveling, but uh, just in general, it's always good to have your own tools.